Yama, I'm Jack, and here's what's coming up on today's news break. The world's tallest sandcastle. Sydney's lockdown extended. And a very slippery character. And hey, why don't you slip on down to that subscribe button and, um, press it. The world's tallest sandcastle has been unveiled in Denmark. And when I say tall, I mean really, really tall, like really tall. Here's Leela. Wow. Has that tree always been here? Oh, sorry, yes. Also, wow, check out this giant sandcastle in Denmark. At 21.16 metres high, it's just taken out the record for the world's tallest sandcastle. Impressive. I'm impressed. And I think, what do you say? Are you also impressed? Just impressed, just to say the least. Very impressed. Yes, we're all very impressed. This masterpiece is three metres higher than the previous record. A sandcastle made in Germany in 2019, which was 17.66 metres high. The designer says the COVID-19 pandemic inspired the sandcastle. And we give it a crown because Corona means crown. It's like nice and double. But we give it also a crown because it's ruling. It's ruling our lives everywhere. 30 of the world's most talented sand sculptors help bring the design to life using more than 4,400 tons of sand. And you might be looking at this thinking, if I kicked it, would it fall down? Well, no. It actually has a wooden structure built around it, and about 10% of it is clay, so it's really strong. And did I mention there's an extra layer of glue on top? I reckon it will have a lot of visitors. Beyond beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. Nice? I believe the word impressive is what the people are saying. Greater Sydney's lockdown has been extended for another week, until 12.01 a.m. on July 17th, to be precise. For those of you there who were supposed to go back to school next week, you'll have online learning for four days instead, while regional New South Wales schools will still be able to have face-to-face -face classes. I feel kind of sad because I don't get to see my friends and my teachers, but I do understand that Gladys is just trying to keep us safe. I won't be able to go back to school next week because um, we, have, we have to do homeschool now and um, the Canberra excursion I think might have to be cancelled. It's been an explosive week in sport so far. We're talking Wimbledon, Melbourne Grand Prix, the NBA Finals. So here's Nat with a sport so hot, it's on fire. First to Wimbledon, where Ash Barty has absolutely annihilated fellow Aussie Aya Tomilanovic in the quarterfinals, winning 6-1, 6-3. She was always going to bring out the very best in me. I think I, I had to play my absolute best to be able to compete with her. Ash will now face off against Germany's Angelique Kerber in the semis. All aboard the Barty Party train! The NBA Finals are off to a flying start. The Phoenix Suns have taken out Game 1 against the Milwaukee Bucks by 13 points. They were led by Chris Paul with 32 points and 9 assists. He's just made the Finals for the first time after 16 years in the league. <clears throat> Lots of people are pretty disappointed about the now cancelled Australia Formula One Grand Prix, including Aussie driver Daniel Ricciardo. Hey everyone, um, I normally smile, but uh, it's, it's hard obviously. I'm, I'm really, really gutted we're not coming back home. Hopefully we can see you all soon. Up next, it's time to... Oh, hello? Yeah? I've just been told that we've had some, um, some sort of breaking news about a large mammal in southwest China. No, your eyes are not tricking you. This is the said breaking news. A baby elephant sliding down a muddy hill at a rescue center in China. Okay, so it's not exactly breaking news, but come on, it's pretty adorable and it looks like a ton of fun. Yishong here is just three years old, and after crossing a slippery, muddy slope with her mum, she was inspired to slide all the way down. Is this what people are talking about when they say, this is the life? I think it is. Well, it's time for me to slide on out of here, but before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and all the other things that the others tell you to do. I, I can't remember. 